it's my pleasure to welcome you to the first ever postal data hackathon. We're happy to, to see participants joining us from around the globe uh, in this um, historic uh, at the UPU. Innovation should be carried out through a participative and open approach. Uh, this first uh, UPU hackathon uh, is perfectly in line with its approach. And uh, we hope that, of course, this first experience uh, will be followed by other hackathons. It will be very helpful to bring new ideas, new solutions, a new process in the postal sector. Having access to this huge amount of data and also tackling these challenges, as I heard today, is a great potential. Blinking both uh, academia to this, to this challenge is a great opportunity. Our challenge specifically was around plastic pollution, and I think that we have gained a lot of insight about um, areas that we can improve on capturing data on plastic pollution in terms of packaging and um, actually cap capturing how much is in items itself. There are a lot of hidden plastics in terms of the way that we categorize them in our HS codes, so I think that's a big learning process we have and that we can take away for um, different policy measures into into real applicable things in the world. I think with different perspective we can uh, change things up for the postal industry and find new solution for an old industry, I guess. And so I'm hoping to have fun and also learn a lot of new things and new way to uh, work for postal problematics. All of these challenges that have been raised uh, we, we, have, we believe that many of these actually revolve around different uh, compliance issues and we are sure that our uh, knowledge on, on, on Dubian tax calculation and HS codes and uh, even uh, restrictions is something that we can definitely use to help uh, assist all of these participants to find a really good and innovative solution. Because we are helping the economy to optimize and digitize the supply chain, it is more than logic to me that we are here with, as a challenge only because we want to facilitate the supply chain. And that helps us to understand the needs. And as an active member in the consultative committee, we are as well involved in, within the UPU sector, but we want to know more. So there is a balance of the team and portfolios and skills. And of course, the, the groups were picked up based on their preferences and priorities. So they are more keen to support those groups. And I also see when I walked around and discussed with many partners, many tables, I see almost everybody is using technology and partnerships has become very important that in a way aligns to conservative committee members as well. Uh, this is a great opportunity to collaborate and to share knowledge and ideas and to um, solve uh, a lot of uh, challenges and problems as well. It's, it's been a wonderful, I mean, two days so far. Nothing really surprising except that, I mean, it's been incredibly good. I mean, specifically, we have been working on uh, e-commerce. So we are looking at how postal administrations will now actually make uh, e-commerce a major advantage, I mean, for themselves. I mean, we are looking at ways, strategies that we can implement so that we will be able to take over the e-commerce, e I mean, platform. A really interesting kind of viewpoint. Um, I think I also learned a bit about how to try and bring together quite complex teams around these challenges, you know, from starting from a quite a difficult sustainability challenge and, and really bringing some, some great minds, data analysts, people from the postal sector to try and tackle them.
it's my third hackathon in my previous life. I was participating in Slovenia, two of them. And I must say, wow, I'm impressed. The ones who actually today made these presentations and also not about not to forget about sustainability, you really impressed me and I would really like to see you all next day here with us. Thank you very much.